this is Dr. Natas Jian, sales person consultant and project lead here at AppSolve. And the solution that I wanted to bring to you today makes configuring products on CPQ implementations a lot easier. So we'll jump right into my screen right now and show you what that looks like. So the CPQ solution that I want to run through today simplifies the process of creating a large number of products in a simple error-free manner. As you're aware, in CPQ, in order to set up a product, there are two primary options. The first is to manually create a product and then create the features that need to be added to the product, link them to the product, create the options that need to be added to the features and link them to the features. This is essentially a three-step process. And over here, we have a master product or a sample product for this purpose to show you what that looks like. So we have the details over here of the product in the related list, we have all the features, options that are then in turn linked to the features, and scrolling down the price book. This is, like I said, a three step process. And if you have a lot of products with even small variations between them, it's a lot of manual effort to configure each product individually. The other option that you have is to do a data migration for the above process. And again, this is very cumbersome because it involves a lot of VLOOKUPs. And unless it's being done by an expert user, the possibility of human error is very large. What we have as a solution over here is called the product configurator. And this is basically meant to replace the options that we just discussed. So for this solution, we start with a master product which has been configured, containing all the features and options that might be associated with any products for a given implementation. Once this is created, we have this button over here called clone with PB entry. We can click on this and give this any name that we desire. So let's call this product 100, and then we can give this a product code as well and click next. What this does is it will have created the product and then we can go in to our next step to actually configure the product with all the correct features and options. So now that the target product is created, we have this button over here called product configurator and you can access this from the master contract itself. So you don't have to go in to looking for the specific product that you created and spending any time over there in terms of changing screens. So we'll go ahead, click this button. And now if you enter in the name of the product, so it was product 100, you click next. You can move to the various screens and basically start configuring the product with the options that are copied over from the master product. So I'll choose compartment one, accessories, select next. Now that we have selected all the features, for each of these features, we can start by selecting the options. And going through basically the same process for every feature that was selected. You can select as many or as few. Click next, and your product is configured. So now if I go in, look for product 100, I can run through it basically in the related list, the features that I selected, the options that I selected, and move over here, see the price book as well. So everything on this was as configured in our previous screen, and very easily we were able to create a product. So this is a very easy solution that can be used by a non-technical person as well because it's very intuitive. And it's actually also a great time saver in terms of bringing down the average time to create products for 10 minutes per product to one to two minutes maximum. 
Hope you enjoyed learning about the solution.